tools <laughs> in Flash. If you don't have this palette open, you need to have it open. So let's go up here where it says Window and select Tools. All right, now this is open. Um, let's yeah, let's keep this outline color, which is a stroke color, black, and I'll choose the inside color to be a nice gradient to give it some dimension. And I'm going to create a shape in here so we can work with that shape with the tools. All right, so I'm going to create it right now. You might be blown away right now and say, whoa, you just made a perfect circle. How did you do that? I'm glad you asked that question. Well, I had Flash kind of cheat for me. And if I hold Shift and click and drag, it allows me to create um, a perfect circle. But if I don't hold it, then it will allow me to, as long as I drag, it'll give me a that size shape of an elliptical oval or whatever. Um, but I made that, so that's how I did it. Okay, let's start. Black arrow, move tool. You guessed it, it moves things. If I click and I drag, I can move it anywhere in the stage that I want. But what's this? It left the outline, the stroke. Why would it do that? That can be very frustrating for us very beginning Flash designers, but um, you'll notice that when you get a little more comfortable with the interface and you know get a little faster with Flash, um, that you'll like the actual power of separating the two. But for right now, we want to keep them together. So let's keep them together. So we're gonna double click. And now that's telling Flash to keep both of them together. And now I can move both of them at the same time. I can also, if it's deselected, I can draw a little virtual square around it and it'll um, select it. You know it's selected too if it has that kind of grainy, grayish white dot pattern looking to it. Um, so now I'm going to drag that and that's how I can do it. The move tool also can shape, uh, shift the object. So I'm going to hit command plus and that is going to zoom in my stage. If I hold the space bar, that's going to allow me to move the stage around while I'm in zoom mode. Very, very cool if you want to draw something in a specific spot and you want to get very detailed with it. All right, so if I take my move tool and I go to the edge, you'll notice that there's like kind of like this curved line. That's cool, watch this. I'm gonna click on it and drag out. I can drag in, then I can drag out. Now I really don't know what I'm making here, I'm just doing it for the sake of teaching you how to make the, uh, how to use the tools. Um, now that's with the move tool. With the white tool, that's the sub selection tool. The cool thing about that is I was able to, with a black tool, to move a certain area of the line on the shape. Now I'll be able to actually go into specific detail in certain parts of the shape. So if I click on the outline again, you'll notice it gives me these anchor points. Now let's say if I want to click on this guy, it will fill that one in with color and leave the rest blank saying this is the one that you're going to tweak, move. So I'm going to click on it and I'm, maybe I'll just drag it in, I can drag it out. Uh, and that's pretty neat because now you can actually start shifting it. I mean, if you want to make fingers or make the shape of a, of a face or hair or whatever you want to make, that, this will come in handy. And notice on that uh, anchor point that's got like these wings and that allows you to actually tweak the actual anchor point that you just moved, make it even better. So let's say I don't like the sharp move, uh, sharp turn and I want it more rounded, I can actually click this and make it more rounded. I really don't know what the shape is, but I'm <laughs> just showing you for the sake of using the tools. Okay, the next tool is a free transform tool. I'm gonna double click to select both, inside and outside. If I hold shift, my cheat button, uh, if I click and drag in, it'll make it smaller. If I click and drag out, it'll make it bigger. I can also take my mouse right outside of one of the edges and it'll turn into a circle. The mouse will turn into a circle and then I can just click and rotate. And rotate my object. Now the cool thing about this is if you have a 45 or 90 degree angle, it'll kind of feel like the, it's snapped into place. That's a neat feature if you want to keep things kind of parallel and straight to each other. All right, this next tool is a transform tool, but not for the shape, it's for the actual fill color inside. That is really awesome. Uh, you click on it and it gives this like kind of radius pattern, and I'm able to do a few things with the actual fill color. I can take it and I can drag it out more. I can make it a wider range. I can rotate it, and I can change the position of the gradient. Very, very fun tool to use. 
Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. Oh, that zooming in. Command plus. If you're on the uh, PC, it's control minus to zoom out. Uh, if you're on the Mac, it's command minus. All right, so I'm gonna take the line tool. Um, down here, by the way, is your properties palette. This will allow you to give all, uh, show you the, uh, the options for each tool. So I'm on the line tool, so it gives me all the options for the lines, which is change the color. I can change the color. I can change the size of it by dragging this up and down and just literally drag. Make a thin line. And I can even change the style of the line. You make it dotted or kind of rugged looking. Uh, just up to you and what, what your needs are. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in, hitting the Command Plus key. I'm going to hit the space bar, and that will allow me to move um, freely with inside the zoom mode. Okay, now I'm going to go to the lasso tool. Now we've seen the line, we're going to the lasso tool. So let's say we don't want to select the whole object and move it. Maybe we want to select part of the object, maybe change the color of it. So I'm going to click and drag, maybe take this area. And now notice I just selected a, a certain part of the object, and maybe I want to change the color to something different, like like that. It gives me I really don't know what this thing is turning out to be. It's like a mad duck or something, or really weird comma. Uh, but um, so that's the power of the lasso tool. Very very neat. Um, the pen tool looks like a calligraphy pen. I'm not going to go too much in detail with this tool right now because I'm actually going to make a whole lesson on the pen tool but it basically you just click an anchor point just click once and then you click and drag and it'll allow you to s draw a very detailed specific shape this is not very specific but you get the idea and also when you do a shape you need to close it with clicking, clicking your last anchor point on the first anchor point and that way it'll do this it'll fill it because if you have a gap, it won't fill, it won't be a complete shape. So make sure that your starting point is now your ending point also, so it has a full close. It has to be completely closed in. All right? Your A is your text tool. So if you want to write anything anywhere, and you can animate all these things, by the way. I can just click, and I can write. Um, I can also click and drag. Let's see, click and drag, and put a, a lot of text. Right? I can also change the size of it. I can highlight it. I can change the font by clicking here and change it in different font. I can change the size of it by just literally dragging up on the arrow and I can change the color. This it basically looks like Microsoft Word any any basic, you know, word editing um, program. All right, I'm going to take my move tool. I'm going to hit Command A or Control A on a PC. I'm going to hit Delete. Take all that stuff away. Okay, the circle tool show you what that does. The square tool makes squares. Um, the pencil literally is supposed to act like a pencil, and the options for it is down here. I usually use ink because I like the drugs and and have it look like exactly what I wanted it to look like. But if you kind of you draw and it's a little jaggedy. The fun part of this is it'll smooth it out for you. If you draw and you're trying to make a straight line but it's a little crooked, it'll straighten it out for you. I'll just I'll show it to you. So see how it's straightening it out? That's pretty cool. But what I like to do is I like to do ink and that way it'll keep exactly what I want it to be. It'll just keep that shape. All right, the pen, I mean the paintbrush, this is a little different. The pencil acts like a pencil. The paintbrush is supposed to kind of act like a hard, wet brush, I would say. So, and the pencil takes the color from the stroke outline. The paintbrush takes the color of the fill. So just keep that in mind when you're, you know, really getting in depth and, and moving forward with your drawing. I can just draw and just, I'm just making random shapes just to show you. Um, okay, and here's a good example of this tool. This is the outline fill color. So let's say I had this as an outline color and I want to change red to something else. So I'll change this and I'll maybe change it to green. 
with this tool, I'm able to just click on it and change the green. Whereas this is the fill color. This will change the inside color. So if I come here and I click on that, it'll change the fill color. All right. The ink um, tool is just basically to grab a certain color and put it in your uh, color palette. So if you have some shape and you go, oh, I love the exact color I used for this hand, but I don't remember what color it was. And you kept drawing, you can just ink blot it and then fill it um, the other hand with it, for example. And the eraser tool is simply to erase. So there you have it. There's the tools. If you have any questions, you can email me uh, or you can leave a comment below and I'll get right back to you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.